Hey guys, it's Zoe and Noah. Today is going to be my 2021 bookshelf tour. Noah was being a little bit of a butthead, so he's gonna be here with me for this beginning bit. So at the last count before I started filming this, I had just over 1200 books. I organize everything by genre and that's the way I move through this tour. I will leave the timestamps for the genres linked down below so you can skip through them if you're not interested in some of the genres. As well, I am hosting a giveaway for this bookshelf tour. Keep watching to see what books I'm gonna be giving away and how to enter into this giveaway. Oh my goodness gracious me. Noah, what the hell? Noah, let go. You didn't, but all I'm saying for now is that it's two books that I have duplicate copies of, like the exact same thing. I like collecting multiple, why can I not speak? Multiple editions of books, but these ones are literally the exact same, so I will be giving away one of my copies. Before I get started, I want to say a huge thank you to Anna Luisa, who I'm collaborating with for this video. I'll do a close up after because you can't really see the pieces right now, but I am absolutely in love with everything that they've sent me. I've got the earrings that I have on, uh, this bracelet, and a pair of like yellow dangly hoofs, which I will also show. I know I always say that purple's my favorite color because it's just much easier to say than drop some hearts down below, preferably purple, green, yellow, orange, or pink, because I have a lot of favorite colors. So I just go with purple, but it's a shade of yellow that I'm absolutely in love with. And these pieces are so dainty and feminine and cute, and I'm absolutely obsessed. I typically don't like to wear any other rings other than my engagement ring, but I love bracelets, I love earrings. I usually don't have them on because with this thing and a toddler, they're getting yanked on all the time. But these ones especially are so cute. I can wear them without the fear of them getting yanked out of my head. The best part is I think I'm allergic to certain metals because my ears are on fire when I wear most earrings, these ones. And the other pair, I've worn them several times and nothing. I haven't had any sort of pain, any sort of inflammation. So that is fantastic. If you also have sensitive ears, this is the brand for you. They're also a sustainable brand and use recycled materials in their pieces, which I am a huge fan of. So with this bracelet, typically I don't love wearing gold, but it's so dainty that I think this might be the thing to turn me to gold jewelry. I especially love the fact that there is an extra link here that can fit on my child size wrist. I have such skinny wrists and most bracelets just fall straight off my hand but this is tight enough that i can actually wear it comfortably i have been wearing it a little bit on the looser side just because i like the movement i like the little dangly feeling but if i'm in a situation where i don't want to risk it falling off at all i do like the fact that i can tighten it a little bit like i said with these earrings i love that i can wear them without the fear of them getting pulled out, they don't get caught in my hair or my braids or anything, and I like the little sparkle to them, but this pair of earrings I've been loving. This yellow is fantastic. Let me tell you, I've been rocking pajamas this entire month, and these go really well with my PJs, which you cannot go wrong with. Noah, you're staring at me, and it's tripping me out. Yeah, it's tripping me out. If you like the look of these pieces and you want to check out some for yourself, Annalisa is having a sale right now where everything is 10% off and up to 60% off some of their last chance items. I will leave that link down in the description box and I hope you go check them out. As a side note, normally I don't do a voiceover. I just kind of say the books as I'm going through them and like I hide behind the camera. It's a very professional process, I swear. He's teething and he's sucking on my arm right now. This is just so weird. Anyways, I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna wait until they're not laughing or anything or when there's a lull in the noise. So I did a voiceover. As is tradition, I'm keeping all of the books falling down and me yelling at them and telling them to shut up and sit still because it's completely normal to talk to inanimate objects like that. I don't have too much contact with other adult humans anymore, so... I talk to things and I talk to myself. It's great. One last thing before we get started. I am gonna be doing a Q&A soon. I haven't done one of those in a while and I like doing those. So drop any questions you have down below, anything with regards to life, kids, booktube, writing, like literally anything. And I will answer those in an upcoming q and I'm gonna stop rambling and hand it over to past Zoe and get this bookshelf tour started. I will see you back here at the end. Fantasy shelves are first up starting with the Dragon's Path by Daniel Abraham, Watership Down by Richard Adams, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, Assassin's Heart by Sarah Hears, Two Copies of The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong, Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett, The Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard, 
Red Queen, Glass Sword, King's Cage, and War Storm. Two copies of Grace and Fury by Tracy Banger. And the Grishaverse trilogy by Lee Bardugo. Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. The next shelf over continues with the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, and Language of Thorns, the Grishaverse Companion, Kingdom of Souls by Rena Baron, two copies of The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, the Frostblood trilogy by Ellie Blake, Frostblood, Fireblood, and Nightblood, Three Dark Crowns and One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake, Antigoddess by Kendara Blake, The Sword of Shannara by Terry Brooks, Song of Race and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown, The City of Brass by S. A. Chakraborty, Dividing Eden by Joelle Charbonneau, and the first two books in the Seven Realms series by Cinda Williams Chima, The Demon King, and The Exiled Queen. The next shelf over finishes off the books that I have in the Seven Realms series with The Grey Wolf Throne, The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chokshi, The Never Tilting World and The Ever Cruel Kingdom by Rin Chupeko, and The Last Nimsara and The Caged Queen by Kristen Ciccarelli. Back to the first bookcase and on the second shelf is my Cassandra Clare collection. This shelf has Gwen the Penguin. First up are five of the hardcover editions for these covers of the Mortal Instruments series, Cities of Bones, Glass, Fallen Angels, Lost Souls, and Heavenly Fire. I am missing City of Ashes in the hardcover of this copy. The Shadow Hunter Academy, Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince, the first two books in the Infernal Devices series in this cover and hardcover. The Dark Artifices Trilogy, Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. The last three books in the Mortal Instruments series in paperback in this edition. Cities of Fallen Angels, Lost Souls, and Heavenly Fire, and the Infernal Devices trilogy in this paperback edition, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. The next shelf over finishes off my Cassandra Clare collection with the paperbacks of this edition. Again, I have five. I am missing one of them. Cities of Bones, Ashes, Glass, Fallen Angels, and Lost Souls. The Bells by Danielle Clayton, Firebringer, and The Sight by David Clement Davies, and the first book that's starting to fall. A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Cluis, The Naming by Alison Krogan, The Glass Spare by Lauren DiStefano, Truth Witch and Wind Witch by Susan Dennard, Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly, Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan, The Blackstone Ritual by Swearing in Durham, The Queen of Blood and the Reluctant Queen by Sarah Beth Durst, Fire and Heist by Sarah and Beth... Sarah... What? Sarah Beth Durst. The next shelf over continues with The Bone Maker by Sarah Beth Durst, a bitch that will not stay up. Yep. Said no. Shh. The Gypsy King by Maureen Fergus. King of Ashes by Raymond E. Feist. Stardust by Neil Gaiman. This book was not good enough to be acting up so much like this. Two copies of Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. And Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Back to the first shelf and down one, we have my light box that says Zoe's All Booked. The Queens of Innes Lear by Tessa Grattan. Two copies of Beasts of Prey by Ayana Gray. Malice by John Gwynn, a very beat up book. Thank you to Tyson for chewing the fuck out of that. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. City of Lies by Sam Hawk. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins, Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. Stop it. After riding the struggle bus into town, we move to Hounded by Kevin Hearn, The Dwarves by Marcus Heights, Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman, Wake by Amanda Hawking, Viper by Bex Hogan, Two Copies of Everless by Sarah Holland, Tiger's Curse by Colleen Huck, I think it is, Reawakened by Colleen, still think it's pronounced Huck, Dancing Jacks by Robin Jarvis, and The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. The next shelf over starts with The Queen of the Tearling, The Invasion of the Tearling, and The Fate of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson, The Iron King and the Iron Daughter by Julie Kagawa, Talon also by Julie Kagawa, and two copies of Shadow of the Fox, once again by Julie Kagawa. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer, Kemmerer, always have trouble saying that, The Blood Print by Ozma Zahanat Khan, The Extraordinaries by TJ Klune, Shadows Cast by Stars by Catherine Knutson, The Alchemist of Loom by Elise Kova, A Dress for the Wicked by Autumn Krauss, The Nevernight Chronicle by Jay Kristoff, Nevernight, God's Grave, and Dark Dawn, The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong, and Salt and Storm by Kendall Culper. The next shelf over starts with Reverie by Ryan LaSala, Jade City and Jade War by Fonda Lee, The Young Elites by Marie Lu, The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch, and The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. 
which clearly does not want to be here today. Back over to the first bookcase and the next shelf down is my Sarah J Mass collection, starting with the UK editions of the first three books in the Throne of Glass series, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Air of Fire, the US editions of the Throne of Glass series, The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash, and then a hardcover copy of Crown of Midnight, the Court of Thorns and Roses series, Courts of Thorns and Roses, Mist and Fury, Wings and Ruin, Frost and Starlight, and Silver Flames, House of Earth and Blood, the first book in the Crescent City series, and Catwoman, Soul Stealer, arguably my least favorite Sarah J Mass book. The next shelf over starts with Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. Shadowfell by Juliette Marillier, Seven Black Diamonds and One Blood Ruby by Melissa Marr. This one did not want to cooperate. A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin, A Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons. Promise of Blood by Brian McClellan, The Oathbreaker's Shadow by Amy McCulloch, Mark's Woman by Rati Marotra, bye. Renegades by Marissa Meyer, The Shite Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, The Beautiful Ones by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, Two Copies of Nocturna by Maya Motain, and Two Copies of Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha and Yan. The next shelf over starts with these bitches that do not want to cooperate. Sabriel, Lyriel, and Abhorson by Garth Nix. I swear to bejeebus. Stay. Angel Mage by Garth Nix. Evermore, Blue Moon, and Shadowland by Alison Noel. Son of the Storm by Suyi Davies Okungboa, Silverwing, Sunwing, and Firewing by Kenneth Oppel, The Wizard, The Witch, and Two Girls from Jersey by Lisa Papa Dimitriou, The Kiss of Bai, Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Back over to the first bookcase again and the next shelf down, I have There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole, Two Copies of Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston, His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman, The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass, Snow like Ashes, Ice Like Fire, and Frost Like Night by Sarah Roche, These Rebel Waves by Sarah Roche, Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, A Book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes, Two Copies of Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz, A Darker Shade of Magic by V. E. Schwab, The Chonker of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, and Scythe by Neil Schusterman. The next shelf over starts with The Crown's Game and The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye, Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye, Stray by Alyssa Sussman and my husband has walked into the house and seen me underneath the blanket talking to myself. Everything is fine. Immortal City by Scott Spear. I can feel you watching me, Curtis. It's creepy. I don't even know why I bother trying to keep these standing upright. The Reagan, Reagan, what the hell? The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. Stiefvater. The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily, Lily Blue, and The Raven King. Beyond the Black Door by A.M. Strickland. An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. This bitch does not want to be oh, here. Oh, it pinched. Oh, oh, that pinched so hard. The UK edition of Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. This series is completely rebelling. Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, Dreams of Gods and Monsters, and Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. And Long May She Reign by Rhiannon Thomas. Next shelf over starts with The Hobbit and the Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien, which also don't want to stay up, right? And yes, the cover of The Fellowship of the Ring is entirely off. At this point, I don't know why I just didn't give up and start leaning things automatically. The Two Towers and the Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. Mother of God, Mother of God. And two other editions of The Fellowship of the Ring and The Return of the King. The Thief and the Queen of Atolia by Megan Whalen Turner. Prior's War by Nina Varela. The Stars Never Rise by Rachel Vincent, his damn sticker that didn't want to come off. And The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. The final fantasy shelf starts with The Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks, The Black Prism, The Blinding Knife, The Broken Eye, and The Blood Mirror. For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. Memory Sorrow and Thorn by Tad. Williams, the Dragon Bone Chair, this bitch has had enough, Stone of Farewell, and to Green Angel Tower, and finally, The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. The next bookcase starts off historical fiction with Love, Lies, and Spies by Cindy Ansey, The Last Debutantes by Georgie Blalock, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne, 
I'm not picking that back up right now. A Great and Terrible Beauty, Rebel Angels and the Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. You can see the exact moment that I gave up hope for this book. The next shelf down starts off my Gail Carriger collection, the Finishing School series, starting with paperback copies of Etiquette and Espionage and Curtsies and Conspiracies, hardcover copies of Curtsies and Conspiracies, Waistcoats and Weaponry, and Manners and Mutiny. I am already done with this shit. Next is the Parasol Protectorate series, starting with a mass market paperback and a trade paperback copy of Soulless, Changeless, Blameless, Heartless, and Timeless, and finally the Custard Protocol series, Prudence, Imprudence, Competence, and Reticence. The next shelf down starts with, come on you fucking sticker, you would stick, oh my god, garbage, just trash. Another sticker that would not come off, shit. Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson, The Spy Mistress by Jennifer Chiaverini, Dangerous Alliance by Jenica Cohen, Kingdom of Little Shits by Suzanne Kokel, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, Boy Toy Named Troy Used to Live in Detroit by Adele Jarrus, Jara, Jara, I don't fucking know. Come on. Lux and Rumors by Anna Godberson. I'm done with you. And The Dark Days Club. Are you fucking kidding me? And The Dark Days Pact by Allison Goodman. The shelf. Is rebelling. The next shelf down starts with The Dark Days Deceit by Alison Goodman, Wolf by Wolf and Blood for Blood by Ryan Groudon, Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett, Fall of Giants by Ken Follett, The Friday Society by Adrian Kress, Dead Wake by Eric Larson, and Beyond a Darkened Shore by Jessica Leak. The next shelf down starts with The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, Under a Painted Sky by Stacey Lee, The Valiant by Leslie Livingston, Guilt by Catherine Longshore, and Stalking Jack the Ripper, Hunting Prince Dracula and Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. The last historical fiction shelf starts with Venom by Fiona Paul, Ladies in Waiting by Laura L. Sullivan, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Daisy Jones and the Shits by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Finishing Becca, Hang a Thousand Trees with Ribbons, A Break with Charity, The Fifth of March, Keep Smiling Through, and An Acquaintance with Darkness, all by Anne Rinaldi, and finally The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Another book that wasn't good enough to be getting an attitude like this. The next book case over is retellings, starting with Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo, Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Basherdust, Traitor Angels by Anne Blankman, Avalon High by Meg Cabot, Prince of Shadows by Rachel Kane, Black Hearts by Nicole Casterman, A Study in Charlotte and the Last of August by Brittany Cavallaro, already starting with a falling down shit, is House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig, and Alex and Eliza and Love and War by Melissa De La Cruz. The next shelf down starts with Legendborn by Tracy Dion, Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly, The Season by Jonah Lisa Dyer and Stephen Dyer, Scarlet by AC Gone. Goggin. Speak Easy, Speak Love by Mikkel George, These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, and The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. The next shelf down starts with My Lady Jane and My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Another sticker that wouldn't fucking come off. Splintered by A.G. Howard, Roseblood by A.G. Howard, Winter Song by S.J. Jones. What is Happening. Another book that was not good enough to be acting up like this, Spindle by E.K. Johnston, Dark Breaks the Dawn by Sarah B. Larson. This one was pretty good. The ground is uneven here, that's the problem. And Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. The next shelf down starts with Wicked and Son of a Witch by Gregory Maguire, A Bind Up of Wicked and Son of a Witch, A Blade So Black by L.L. L. McKinney, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, and Cinder and Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. The next shelf down starts with Circe by Madeline Miller, Strands of Bronze and Gold and Merc in the Midnight Hour by Jane Nickerson, and Queen of Hearts, Blood of Wonderland, and War of the Cards by Colleen Oakes. The final retelling shelf starts with Dorothy Must Die, The Wicked Will Rise, Yellow Brick War and the End of Oz by Danielle Page, Stealing Snow by Danielle Page, Geekerella by Ashley Poston, The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine, both a falling book and another sticker that would not fucking come off, Everland by Wendy Spinelli, Hunted by Megan Spooner, Rebel Rose by Emma Terrio, and finally Pride by Ibby Zoboy. The next bookcase is my mystery and thriller collection, starting with all of my Dan Brown books, Digital Fortress, Deception Point, the Robert Langdon books, Angels and Demons, The Lost Symbol, Inferno, and Origin, 
And on the next shelf down, I have a bind up of the Da Vinci Code and the Lost Symbol and the Da Vinci Code. On the next shelf down is the rest of the mystery and thrillers that are not Dan Brown books. Broken Monsters by Lauren Bukes? Bukes. When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. 419 by Will Ferguson. The Tenderness of Thieves by Donna Freitas. The Other Side of the Door by Nikki French. They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman. Full Ride by Margaret Peterson Haddix. The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Two Copies of White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. And this is where the first book in the giveaway is. I received two of these on accident and I couldn't give one back. So I will be giving away one of these arcs of white smoke. If you're interested in entering, watch until the end for the instructions. The next shelf down starts with Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, One of Us is Lying and One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus, Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus, People Like Us by Dana Meal, Twisted Fate by Nora Olson, The Innocents by Lily Peliquin, Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan, The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager, The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold, and Finally, I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zuza. The next shelf down are my Sarah Shepard books. I don't have all of the books in the series. The Pretty Little Liar series, Pretty Little Liars, Flawless, Unbelievable, Perfect, and it's fucking perfect that these books are falling again. Wicked, Killer, Heartless, Wanted, and Twisted. And the Lying Game series, The Lying Game, Never Have I Ever, and Two Truths and a Lie. The last shelf on this bookcase is the Private series and the spinoff Privilege by Kate Bryan. Fair warning, these might be out of order. Starting with The Book of Spells and Last Christmas, the two prequels, Private, Invitation Only, Untouchable, Confessions, Inner Circle, Legacy, Ambition, Revelation, Paradise, lost. A little sus that these books keep falling. Suspicion, Scandal, Vanished, Ominous, and Vengeance. And the spin-off series, Privilege, Perfect Mistake, Beautiful Disaster, and Sweet Deceit. The next bookcase over is Dystopian and Sci-Fi with a Fae Crate box, starting with Judgment on Delchev by Eric Ambler, which actually should be in the mystery section. I say that every year and I forget to put it back there. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, Red Rising by Pierce Brown, The Selection by Kiara Cass, the Selection, The Elite, The One, The Heir, and The Crown. A paperback copy of this edition of The Hunger Games. Hardcover copies of this edition, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. And a box set of this paperback edition of The Hunger Games Trilogy. The next shelf down has a fairy loot box and continues with the matched deluxe edition by Ali Condi. If you remember back to the video where I sent book characters to therapy, I put myself in a giant hamster ball to cosplay this cover. It was a fun fucking time. Matched, Crossed, and Reached by Ali Condi. Two copies of Mirage by Samaya Daoud. Deadly Design by Deborah Doctor. The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer. Gone, Hunger and Lies by Michael Grant. Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. And I Am Number Four by Pitticus Lore. The last shelf has a shelf love crate box, I think that is, and starts with... Another book that has a fucking sticker that won't come off. War Cross by Marie Lu. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me by Tahira Mafi. The Declaration by Gemma Mali. Another book that has just had enough. The Secret Under My Skin and The Rain Tree Rebellion by Janet McNaughton. Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. The Sandcastle Empire by Kayla Olson. Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. The Cage by Megan Shepard. And finally, The Fifth Wave and the Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. The next bookcase is anything paranormal with a Zoe doll from Sesame Street. Bad Girls Don't Die by Katie Allender. Zoe, stop it. Marie Antoinette Serial Killer by Katie Allender. The Nine Lives of Chloe King by Liz Braswell. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. The House of Night series by PC Cast and Christian Cast. You bitch. <laughs> Starting with paperback editions of Marked, Betrayed, Chosen, and Untamed. Hardcover editions of the same four books. Hunted, Tempted, Burned, Awakened, Destined, and Hidden. And Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. The next shelf down has Draco's brush and a whole bunch of hair. Whoops! And it starts with the Twitches series by H.B. Gilmore and Randy Reisfeld. What in the f- Fuck does that say? The Power of Two, Building a Mystery, Seeing is Deceiving, Total Anarchy Ensues. Ladies, you're killing me.
Dead Wrong, Don't Think Twice, Double Jeopardy, and Kindred Spirits. Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. Conversion by Catherine Howe. How to Ditch Your Fairy by Justine Larbalestier. Crossing Over by Anna Kendall. Wake and Fade by Lisa McMahon. Vampire Academy, Frostbite, and Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. And Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. The last shelf has a Hangover Recovery Kit box from Fake Crate, and it starts with the Magic in Manhattan series by Sarah Milanowski, Bras and Broomsticks, Frogs and French Kisses, Spells and Sleeping Bags, and Parties and Potions, Don't Even Think About It by Sarah Milanowski, The Midnight Club by Christopher Pike, Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, The Art of Wishing by Lindsay Rybar, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, Embrace by Jessica Shervington, Dark Visions by L.J. Smith, Strange Angels by Lily St. Crow, Night Runner by Max Turner, Dark Lover by J.R. Ward, A Certain Slant of Light by Laura Whitcomb, Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White, and The Rosemary Spell by Virginia Zimmerman. The next bookcase is Contemporary YA, starting with all of the hardcovers, Like It Never Happened by Emily Adrian, Again. Another Fucking Sticker, The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli, Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli, What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera, Joyride by Anna Banks, Blonde Dops by Charlotte Bernardo and Natalie Zayman, The Anatomical Shape of a Heart by Jen Bennett, City Love and Lost in Love by Suzanne Colasanti, Getting Revenge on Lauren Wood by Eileen Cook, Romancing the Throne by Nadine Jolie Courtney, Words in Deep Blue by Kath Crowley, The Wonder of Us by Kim Culbertson, Someone Else's Life by Katie Dale, A Matter of Heart by Amy Fellner Domini, Revenge of the Girl with a Great Personality by Elizabeth Hulberg, Stella by Helen Eve, Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Mend by Katie Finn, The Loose Ends List by Carrie Firestone, My Life Next Door and The Boy Most Likely To by Huntley Fitzpatrick, Reunited by Hilary Weissman Graham, A Love Hate Thing by Whitney D. Grandison, Royals by Rachel Hawkins, Flirting in Italian and Kissing in Italian by Lauren Henderson, Escaping Perfect by Emma Harrison, and Heretics Anonymous by Katie Henry. The next shelf down starts with Hello Sunshine by Layla Howland, Better Than Perfect by Melissa Cantor, Being Audrey Hepburn by Mitchell Kriegman, Romantics by Leah Conan, Love and Other Trainwrecks by Leah Conan, The Art of Getting Stared At by Laura Langston, Future Perfect by Jen Larson, Open Road Summer by Emery Lord, Infinite In Between by Carolyn Mackler, Rules for 50-50 Chances by Kate McGovern, From Twinkle with Love by Sandia Menon, 26 Kisses by Anna Michaels, Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills, I See London, I See France by Sarah Milanowski, Liberty by Andrea Ports, If You're Lucky by Yvonne Prinz, First There Was Forever by Juliana Romano, Cherry by Lindsay Rosen, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, It's All Your Fault by Paul Rudnick, Those Girls by Lauren Zaff, Famous in Love and Truly Madly Famously by Rebecca Searle, Wild Awake by Hilary T. Smith, Hello, Goodbye, and Everything in Between by Jennifer E. Smith, that one definitely said goodbye, Little Black Dresses, Little White Lies by Laura Stampler, and Drowning is Inevitable by Shalonda Stanley. The next shelf down has a little figurine that one of my little cousins made me and starts with The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, The Wrong Side of Right by Jen Marie Thorne, Trouble is a Friend of Mine by Stephanie Tromley, Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch, Six Impossible Things by Fiona Wood, Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia, and Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin. Next up are my Morgan Matson books, Amy and Rogers Epic Detour, Second Chance Summer, Since You've Been Gone, The Unexpected Everything, and and save the date, and then it moves into YA Contemporary Series, with also known as and Going Rogue by Robin Benway, paperback copies of The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and The Second Summer of the Sisterhood by Anne Brashares, and hardcover copies of The Second Summer of the Sisterhood, Girls in Pants, The Third Summer of the Sisterhood, and Forever in Blue, The Fourth Summer of the Sisterhood, Upper Class and Miseducated by Hobson Brown, Taylor Matern, and Caroline Says, The Carrie Diaries and Summer in the City by Candace Bushnell, and the Princess Diaries series by Meg Cabot, The Princess Diaries, and Princesses in the Spotlight, and Waiting, and Pink, and In Training. The next shelf down continues with the series as well as standalones. Some of the books in the standalones are parts of series, but the rest of them are in hardcover, and I didn't want to mix too many of those in, or I just haven't read the rest of the series yet. Secrets of My Hollywood Life, Family Affairs, and On Location by Jen Kalanita, I Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You, Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy, and Don't Judge a Girl 
Girl by her cover and these covers by Ali Carter. Only the Good Spy Young, Out of Sight, Out of Time and United We Spy by Ali Carter in these covers. And Only the Good Spy Young and Out of Sight, Out of Time again by Ali Carter in these covers. Manderly Prep, Rich Girl and the Guy Next Door by Carol Culver. In or Out, Loves Me, Loves Me Not, Sweet and Vicious and Friends Close, Enemies Closer by Claudia Gable. Confessions of a Triple Shot Betty and Triple Shot Betty's in Love by Jody German, The Boyfriend List, The Boy Book, and The Treasure Map of Boys by E. Lockhart, Poser, and The Good, The Fab, and The Ugly by Rachel Maud, Anna and the French Kiss, and Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins, She's So Dead to Us, He's So Not Worth It, and This Is So Not Happening by Kieran Scott, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertelli, Speak by Laurie Halls Anderson, Through to You by Lauren Barnholt, Heat of the Moment by Lauren Barnholt, All American Girl by Meg Cabot, High Society by Ali Carter, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, Confessions of a Boyfriend Stealer by Robin Clareday, and The Allison Rules by Catherine Clark. The Next Shelf Down finishes standalone paperbacks and first books and series that I have not finished yet, starting with The Promise of Amazing by Robin Constantine, 99 Days by Katie Cotugno, Bass Ackwards and Belly Up by Elizabeth Kraft and Sarah Fain, Just Listen by Sarah Dessen, How My Summer Went Up in Flames by Jennifer Salvato Doktorsky, True Confessions of a Hollywood Starlet by Lola Douglas, The Lonely Hearts Club by Elizabeth Yulberg, Top 8 by Katie Finn, Two Copies of Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han, The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han, Throw Like a Girl by Sarah Henning, Proof of Forever by Lexa Hillier, Falling in Love with English Boys by Melissa Jensen, Shut Out by Cody Keplinger, Hold Still by Nina LaCour, Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, Those Girls by Sarah Lawrence, The Disreputable History of Frankie Landau Banks by E. Lockhart, Wanderlost by Jen Malone, The Infinite Moment of Us by Lauren Miracle, Art Geeks and Prom Queens by Alison Noel, The Possible Ability of Fireflies by Dominique Paul, They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera, Royally Lost by Angie Stanton, Pretty Tough by Liz Tigelar, Hacking Harvard by Robin Wasserman, This Side of Home by Renee Watson, it's on the wrong side of the shelf, that's for sure, The Fill in Boyfriend by Casey West, this one thought the title was Lay on Your Side, and once again has a stupid fucking sticker, By Your Side by Casey West, and finally, Not That I Care by Rachel Vale. The final shelf on this bookcase are some very long YA contemporary series, starting with the first book in the A-list series by Zoe Dean, the A-List, the Click series by Lisey Harrison, Charmed and Dangerous, The Rise of the Pretty Committee, the Click prequel, the Click Best Friends for Never, Revenge of the Wannabes, Invasion of the Boy Snatchers, The Pretty Committee Strikes Back, Dial L for Loser. Come on, let's not start this again. Every year, you guys give me trouble. Massey, shut the fuck up, okay? Jesus. Alicia, you're always causing trouble. It's not easy being mean, sealed with a diss, the Click Summer Collection, Massey, Dylan, Alicia, Kristen, and Claire. Bratfest at Tiffany's. P.S. I loathe you. Boys are us. These boots are made for stocking. My Little Phony and A Tale of Two Pretties. The Click spin-off series Alphas, which is Alphas and Movers and Fakers. The Confessions of Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison. Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging. On the Bright Side, I'm Now the Girlfriend of a Sex God. Knocked Out by My Nunga Nungas. Dancing in my nudie pants, away laughing on a fast camel. Then he ate my boy in trancers, startled by his furry shorts. Love is a many trousered thing. Stop in the name of pants, and are these my basumas I see before me? Total anarchy when I'm trying to put the books away. Dancing in my nudie pants, and then he ate my boy in trancers in these covers and hardcover editions of Startled by His Furry Shorts, Love is a Many Trousered Thing, and Are These My Basumas I See Before Me. Then I have the It Girl series, the Gossip Girl spin-off by Cicely Von Ziegzer, the It Girl, Notorious, Reckless, Unforgettable, Lucky, Tempted, Infamous, Adored, and Classic, Devious is supposed to be there before Classic, and I don't know where that is. Next up is the Gossip Girl series by Cicely Von Ziegzer. 90% sure that most of these are out of order, but who the fuck cares at this point? Gossip up girl you know you love me all i want is everything because i'm worth it i like it like that you're the one that i want you are the one i want <laughs> honey nobody does it better nothing can keep us together only in your dreams would i lie to you don't 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 
don't you forget about me and i, I will always love you i have the voice of an angel if you were not aware the next bookcase over is my adult romance collection starting with another book that was not good enough to be acting up like this wedding tears by trisha ashley the bromance book club undercover bromance and crazy stupid bromance by lissa k adams the off limits rule by sarah adams the spanish love deception by elena armas love her or lose her and tools of engagement by tessa bailey i had fixer up but i don't know where it is so i need to get a new copy. Nights of Rain and Stars by Maeve Binchy, although that's not really a romance, so that really shouldn't be there. The Reluctant Royal series by Alyssa Cole, A Princess in Theory, Once Ghosted, Twice Shy, A Duke by Default, Can't Escape Love, and A Prince on Paper. The next shelf down starts with Not the Girl You Marry and Not That Kind of Guy by Andy J. Christopher, You Had Me at Ola by Alexis Daria, Hello Sunshine by Laura Dave, Well Met and Well Played by Jen DeLuca, Bringing Down the Duke by Eve B. Dunmore, The Royal Runaway by Lindsay Emery, Class Mom by Laurie Gelman, The Wedding Date and the Proposal by Jasmine Guillory. I also have The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, but I lent that to my sister-in-law, so it's not here for the tour right now. Crashing the A-List by Summer Heacock, Get a Life Chloe Brown and Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert, and The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. The next shelf down continues with The Bride Test and The Heart Principle by Helen Huang, Meet Cute by Helena Hunting, The Good Luck Charm by Helena Hunting and Kiss My Cupcake also by Helena Hunting, Donut Fall in Love by Jackie Lau, Passion on Park Avenue, Love on Lexington Avenue and Marriage on Madison Avenue by Lauren Lane, Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, I Owe You One by Sophie Kinsella, and Crazy Rich Asians, China Rich Girlfriend and Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan. The next shelf down starts with Oh You Pretty Things by Shanna Mahan, Intercepted by Alexa Martin, Red White and Royal Blue by Casey McQueen, Kristen, Amber Green takes a tumble, The Stylist, and Amber Green Takes Manhattan by Rosie Nixon, The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary, Brokeback Mountain by Annie Prue, The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye, The Boyfriend Project by Farrah Roshan, How to Hack a Heartbreak by Kristen Rockaway, Finding Christmas by Karen Shaler, Faker by Sarah Smith, Simmer Down by Sarah Smith, and The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. The next shelf down continues with The Wedding Date by Zara Stoneley, 10 Rules for Faking It by Sophie Sullivan, The Greek Escape by Karen Swan, Meet Me in London by Georgia Toffolo, 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. I also have The Hating Game, but not sure where that is either, so I need to get another copy of that. The Devil Falls Down, While Wearing Prada by Lauren Weisberger, The Accidental Beauty Queen by Terry Wilson, Would Like to Meet the Floor by Rachel Winters, and finally Fight or Flight by Samantha Young. The last shelf on this bookcase is my Christina Lauren collection, starting with The Unhoneymooners, My Favorite Half Night Stand, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, Dating you hating you roomies in a holidays the beautiful series beautiful bastard stranger layer secret and beautiful beautiful bitch and beautiful boss and the wild season series sweet filthy boy dirty rowdy thing dark wild night and wicked sexy liar the next bookcase over is my middle grade and children's section starting with the town that floated away by sandra birdsell getting near to baby by audrey columbus seraphina and the black cloak by robert Beatty. are you there god it's me Margaret by Judy Bloom. Then again, Maybe I Won't by Judy Bloom. The Wishing Well by Chris Colfer. The World at Her Fingertips, The Story of Helen Keller by Joan Dash. The Island Trilogy by Gordon Corman. Shipwreck, Survival, and Escape. Travel Team by Mike Lupica. This one took its name a little too seriously. Slam Poetry. The Keys to the Kingdom series by Garth Nix. Mr. Monday, Grim Tuesday, Drowned Wednesday, Sir Thursday, Lady Friday, Superior Saturday, and Lord Sunday. A bunch of Junie B. Jones books by Barbara Park, The Stupid Smelly Bus, A Little Monkey Business, Some Sneaky Peaky Spying, The Yucky Blucky Fruitcake, That Me Jim's Birthday, Loves Handsome Warren, Is Not a Crook, Is a Party Animal, Is a Beauty Shop Guy, Is Almost a Flower Girl, and The Mushy Gushy Valentine, and a few books from the Junie B First Grader series, Boss of Lunch, Cheater Pants, and Aloha Haha. Ha. Again with the books that were not good enough to be acting up like this. The Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan, 
The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. Finishing out this shelf are the first books in A Series of Unfortunate Events, The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, The Austere Academy, The Erzatz Elevator, The End the Vile Village. The next shelf finishes off the middle grade and starts my classics with the rest of a series of unfortunate events. The Hostile Hospital, The Carnivorous Carnival, The Slippery Slope, Mother of God, these were not in order and I realized it right here. The Grim Grotto, The Penultimate Peril, and The End. And a paperback copy of The Slippery Slope that took its name way too seriously. And finally, 101 Ways to Bug Your Teacher by Lee Wardlaw. The classics start off with Aristotle's Rhetoric, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, the Mina Lima edition of of the Beauty and the Beast by Gabriel Suzanne Barbeau de Villeneuve, by Night in Chile by Roberto Bolaño, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Villette by Charlotte Bronte, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, That Summer in Paris by Morley Callahan, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, Two Copies of The Awakening by Kate Chopin, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl, Skin and Other Stories by Roald Dahl, Inferno and the Divine Comedy by Dante, Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. Two copies of Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, Faust Part 1 and Faust Parts 1 and 2 by Goethe, Lord of the Bayes by William Golding, She by H. Ryder Haggard, A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway, and The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. The next shelf down continues with classics, starting with The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton, Homer's Odyssey, in parenthesis by David Jones, The Sleeping Lord and Other Fragments by David Jones. It is a fucking trial dealing with these books. Books, the Trial by Franz Kafka, Lucy by Jamaica Kincaid, Michael Kohlhaas by Heinrich von Kleiss, This is Killing Me, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Once again, total anarchy. I almost yeeted these books out the window. The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. The Light Princess by George MacDonald, Moby Dick by Herman Melville, Paradise Lost by John Milton, two copies of Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery, and the big one has this box that goes with it, Beloved by Toni Morrison, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, Plato's Republic, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Grease the Grimley's Frankenstein, a what the hell is the word I'm looking for, graphic novel of Frankenstein, Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, two copies of Dracula by Bram Stoker, In Memoriam by Alfred Lord Tennyson, Lazario de Tormes by Anonymous, and The Swindler by Quevedo, Cavalleria Rusticana and Other Stories by Giovanni Verga, The Color Purple by Alice Walker, Stuart Little by E.B. White, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde, Lyrical Ballads by Wordsworth and Coleridge, Homer's Iliad, an illustrated copy of Paradise Lost by John Milton, illustrated by William Blake, and an illustrated copy of The Divine Comedy by Dante, again illustrated by William Blake. The next bookcase over starts off with textbooks, dictionaries, and a nonfiction book, starting with Literature, The World of Writing, The Norton Anthology of English Literature, Volume A, The Middle Ages, Volume B, The 16th Century and the Early 17th Century, Volume C, The Restoration in the 18th Century, Volume D, The Romantic Period, and Volume E, Literature Since 1945, An Anthology of Canadian Literature and English, The Penguin Book of Modern British Short Stories, Techniques and Principles in Language Teaching, Stylistics, Making Communicative Language Teaching Happen, The Oxford Dictionary of Literary Terms, A Glossary of Literary Terms, Perfect English Grammar, Taman Eins, I don't know where the rest of my Taman books are, I had like four more, German Demystified, German Conversation, The Zischer Arbeitsbuch und Kursbuch, An English to Greek and Greek to English Dictionary, The Political Brain by Drew Weston, Political Communication in American Campaigns, A Mighty Fortress by Stephen Osmond, The World of the Ancient Greeks, Money and Youth, I genuinely don't know where the fuck this book came from, Critical Theory Since Plato, The Rhetorical Tradition, and Hamilton the Revolution. The next shelf down is Literary Fiction, Some Nonfiction, and Shakespeare. Starting with The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, Love and Lower Case by Francesc Morales, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed, The Complete Hockey Dictionary, which I have once again forgotten to give to my brother, Becoming by Michelle Obama, Sure, I'll Be 
Your Black Friend by Ben Philippe, Detroit, An American Autopsy by Charlie Leduff, The Little Big Things, 163 Ways to Pursue Excellence by Tom Peters. This was accidentally given to me when I ordered something from Book Depository and they told me to just keep it. Dreaming of Lost America by Eugene McNamara, How We Fare by Mary Ann Mulhern, a book that I helped edit and publish for a course in university, The D Textbook, Fun Home by Alison Bechtel, A Butler's Guide to Entertaining by Nicholas Clayton, Did You Know I Am Sick of These Books Falling Down? The Bathroom Reader for Kids, Tender in the Age of Fury by Brandon Pitts, Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick, 15 Days by Christy Blatchford, The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill, I have no idea why this is there and not somewhere else, Look Me in the Eye, My Life with Asperger's by John Elder Robeson, American Political Parties and Elections, which should be on the shelf above because that was one of my textbooks, Will Not Attend by Adam Resnick, I Am That Woman by Vanessa Shields, a local poet, This Mini Box Set of Shakespeare Books, The Complete Plays in One Sitting, The Bard's Guide to Abuses and Affronts, and Love Sonnets by Shakespeare, Cymbeline, King Lear, Macbeth, Measure for Measure, Romeo and Juliet, The Winter's Tale, The Two Gentlemen of Verona, Titus Andronicus, Othello, The Taming of the Shrew, The Merchant of Venice, and all of the books giving up at once in the background, and the Norton Shakespeare, basically everything he ever wrote. The last shelf on this bookcase is my Wizard of Oz collection by L. Frank Baum, starting with the annotated Wizard of Oz, another edition of the wonderful Wizard of Oz, these books that were published between the 30s and the 40s, I think, Ozma of Oz, The Emerald City of Oz, The Patrick Girl of Oz, Rinky Tank in Oz, The Royal Book of Oz, The Silver Princess in Oz, and Lucky Bucky in Oz, and the complete collection volumes 1 through 5, with all 14 stories that L. Frank Baum wrote, and the 15th one that his wife and editor finished after he died. Volume 1, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, The Marvelous Land of Oz, and Ozma of Oz. Volume 2, Dorothy and the Wizard in Oz, The Road to Oz, and The Emerald City of Oz. Volume number 3, The Patchwork Girl of Oz, TikTok of Oz, and The Scarecrow of Oz. Volume 4, Rinky Tink in Oz, The Lost Princess of Oz. Oz and the Tin Woodman of Oz, and Volume 5, The Magic of Oz, Glinda of Oz, and The Royal Book of Oz. The audio might sound different now because I was hiding underneath a blanket before, but it is way too hot and I'm not doing that anymore, so I'm just in the kitchen. Last up are my two TBR bookcases, and these are not organized by genre, they're just by author's last name, unlike the rest of the library. Starting with Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi, The Conspiracy of Faith by UC. Adler Olson, Jesse, Yuzi, I don't know. Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Daughters of Henri by Rennie K. Amayo. Glitch by Heather Anastasiu. About half of the Animorphs books. The Encounter, The Capture, The Stranger. The Alien, The Secret, The Android, The Forgotten. The Reaction, The Change, The Unknown, The Escape. The Warning, The Underground, The Decision, the Departure, The Discovery, The Threat, The Solution, The Pretender. The solution is to do this a different way next time. The Suspicion, The Sickness, it is making me ill how many of these have fallen. The Conspiracy, The Separation, The Illusion, The Proposal, The Weakness, The Test, and finally, The Resistance. The Acid Watcher Diet by Jonathan Aviv, Heart of Thorns by Brie Barton, Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron, Serafina and the Twisted Staff, and Serafina and the Splintered Heart by Robert Beatty, Things That Should Stay Buried by Casey L. Bond, Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen, Taken and Frozen by Aaron Bowman, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, Pure Sin by Kate Bryan, and The Beholder by Anna Bright. The next shelf over starts with Happily Ever Afters by Elise Bryant, Ready or Not by Meg Cabot, Princess in Love and Princess Mia by Meg Cabot, Queen of the Conquered by Case and Callender, There's No Place Like Home by Jen Kalanita, Graceling by Kristen Kishore, Divine by Choice by PC Cast, Bridget's Quest and Elfame's Choice by PC Cast, The Case for Jamie by Brittany Cavallaro, Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty, yes, I cannot say that any other way, Killing Floor by Lee Child, Flamecaster by Celia Wyndham, S what? Cinda Williams Chima, The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson, Six Years by Harlan Coben, Hold Tight by Harlan Coben, and The Woods, also by Harlan Coben, War of the Wives by Tamar Cohen, How to Find a Princess by Alyssa Cole, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, The Ruining by Anna Collimore, The Riddle and the Crow by Alison Krogan, Open Season by Ben Crump, and Cinder and Glass by Melissa De La Cruz. Back to the first bookcase in the next shelf down, I 
I have Atlantis Found by Clive Cussler, most of the rest of the A-list series by Zoe Dean, Girls on Film, Blonde Ambition, Tall Cool One, Back in Black, Some Like It Hot, American Beauty, and Beautiful Stranger, The Queen of Sorrow by Sarah Beth Durst, A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw, Wings of Ebony by J.L., We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal, The Tenth Girl by Sarah Faring, Beastly and Bewitching by Alex Flynn, Silence by Becca Fitzpatrick, Somebody's Daughter by Ashley C. Ford, Two Copies of The Black Witch and the Iron Flower by Laurie Forrest, Envy by Anna Godberson, Beautiful Wild by Anna Godberson, Olga Dies Dreaming by so Sochi Gonzalez. I have looked that up 15 million times and I think I'm pronouncing that close to correctly. The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. Still cannot pronounce that fucking word to save my life. And P.S. I Still Love You and Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han. The next shelf over starts with Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. Recreated by Colleen Huck. You Don't Want to Know by Lisa Jackson. Sparrow by Mary Cecilia Jackson. The Rebel Mama's Handbook for Cool Moms by Alexandra Jassim and Nikita Stanley, The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison, I Found You by Lisa Jewell, The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson, The Iron Queen, The Iron Knight, Iron Legends, and The Lost Prince by Julie Kagawa, The Frozen Crown by Greta Kelly, Daring Time by Beth Carey, Origin by Jessica Curry, Vitro by Jessica Curry, Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox, Lifelike by Jay Kristoff, The Good Girl by Mary Kubica, Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, Hood by Stephen R. Lawhead, Talis by Stephen R. Lawhead, and a different edition of The Guardians of Eastgate by Sherry LeClaire. Back to the first shelf and one down, I have The Rise of Nine and The Fate of Ten by Pitagus Lore, Wonderful Feels Like This by Sarah Lovestam, Red Seas Under Red Skies and The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch, A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Taha Ramafi, A Wild Winter Swan by Gregory Maguire, Keeping in Touch by Eugene McNamara, Spin Drift by Eugene McNamara, Spirit Bound and Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead, Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead, Mead. Miss Meteor by Taylor K. Mejia, I think, and Anna Marie McLemore. McLemore? Mackle? Mackle? What? It's after midnight. It's very late and I can't speak anymore. Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. So Many Beginnings by Bethany C. Morrow. What to Expect When You're Expecting by Heidi Murkoff. No, I am not pregnant again. I just never actually read this when I was actually pregnant. Sisters of the Snake by Serena and Sasha Nanua. Night Star and Everlasting by Allison Noel. Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. Arpan. Brizinger by Christopher Paolini. What a stupid word. More Junie B. Jones books. Is Captain Field Day has a peep in her pocket. Another copy of Is a Party Animal. Need to get rid of that. And First Grader, boo, and I mean it. And Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpredo. Next shelf over starts with The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan. And the Hidden Oracle and the Dark Prophecy, also by Rick Riordan. Key of Light and Key of Knowledge by Nora Roberts. Morgan's Cross by Nora Roberts. River's End by Nora Roberts. The Witness, yet again, by Nora Roberts. Tribute by my girl. Nora Roberts. Daring to Dream, Holding the Dream, and Finding the Dream by none other than Nora Roberts. Stars of Fortune, which does not want to be here, by you guessed it. Nora Roberts. Why the fuck I have so many Nora Roberts books? I couldn't even fucking tell you. Dance Upon the Air, The Last One by Nora Roberts. Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sambury. Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Even this book is exhausted waiting for the third book to come out. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. And Dark and Shallow Lies by Ginny Myers Sane. Back to the first bookcase, this is the last shelf. State of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury. The Darkness Outside Us by Elliot Shre Schreffer. I, th I, I can't even read. Onward by Howard Schultz. Amber and Dusk by Lyra Celine. Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. Crushed, Ruthless, Burned, and Vicious by Sarah Shepard. Seven Minutes in Heaven by Sarah Shepard. Pregnancy, Childbirth, and the Newborn. Again, no, I'm not pregnant. Witches Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart. Natural Born Angel by Scott Spear. This Time Will Be Different by Misa Segura. That's what I say to myself every bookshelf tour. Inevitably, all of the books fall down. On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. No. No. 100% done with this shit. 
Come on. The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. Legacy of Ash by Matthew Ward. To Best the Boys by Mary Weber. The Light Between Worlds by Laura E. Weymouth. A Treason of Thorns by Laura E. Weymouth. The Witchwood Crown by Tad Williams. A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. And New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson. There were like three books on the other shelf next to it. The rest was just storage stuff. And those are The Fires of Vengeance by Evan Winter, Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young, and It Had to Be You, The Gossip Girl prequel by Cicely von Ziegzer. Same as I'm done! Yay! Oh, you're done? Ha! <gasps> Big smiles for the camera! Okay, so first things first, the giveaways. Like I said in the video, I'm gonna be giving away an arc of white smoke. I was sent two copies from Frenzy, the YA portion of HarperCollins Canada, and unfortunately I wasn't able to send one back and get a different one, so I'm just gonna be giving one away. And the second book that I have, I totally forgot it over there, I had to go get it. The second book is going to be a signed first edition of Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. I accidentally ordered two of these a long time ago, and I totally forgot up until right now that I had them. I thought I gave one away before, but I forgot to do that. So I'm going to be giving away a signed copy of Dark Dawn as well. To enter this giveaway, let me know down below in the comments what your most anticipated read of 2022 is, whether it's a new release or one that you missed before, and let me know which one of these that you would like to win. And then I'll be entering it into one of those websites where it just goes through the comments and like randomizing and it'll pick a winner that way. And if you do end up winning, I will reply to your comment with the thing saying you won and I will contact you and find out all of your shipping information and all of that fun stuff. Still sucking on my arm. This is fantastic. I did forget to mention a few books because I suck ass. What's, what else is new? I forgot Grey Bear by Jordan Ifueco. I think I always forget. I looked it up five times and I always forget. I also forgot All These Bodies by Kendara Blake. It's an arc that I got at the same time that I got White Smoke. The Ultimate French Review in Practice, a French textbook that I have been working on because I need to relearn all of the French that I lost because my children are gonna go to French school one day. And a few different writing books. This is what we call Professionalism 101. This is how we do it. I have The Golden Bough by James George Fraser. Not Fraser. It's spelled like Fraser and it's very weird which is for research purposes for my book that I am like three quarters done. The Writer's Little Helper by James V. Smith Jr. You've Got a Book in You, A Stress-Free Guide to Writing the Book of Your Dreams by Elizabeth Sims. And finally, Plot Perfect, Building Unforgettable Stories Scene by Scene by Paula Munier. That's it. This video is likely gonna be way too long. I'm not entirely done editing yet. If you made it all the way to the end of this, thank you so much. You're a trooper, I love you. If you're entering the giveaway, you already know what to let me know down below in the comments. But if you are just commenting and you don't wanna enter the giveaway, let me know what one of your favorite books that you saw in this bookshelf tour is. Or if that's just too much or you don't have a lot of time, drop some hearts down below, preferably purple ones, because that's my favorite color. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, purple is not my only favorite color. I've been lying to you guys for so long. I wanna say another big thank you to Anna Luisa for collaborating with me in this video. And if you wanna check out some of the pieces for yourself, I will be leaving that link down below. And they are having the sale where it's 10% off everything and up to 60% off some of their last chance items. As always, to stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, all at Zoe's All Booked, which I will leave linked down below in the description box, along with the Patreon, with the revamped tiers. With the new year coming, I've already put up a poll for one of the videos that I'm gonna be doing next year, and I'm going to be putting up one of the ones for the book club and a book that I'm gonna be reading, and the Discord, which will be up and running very soon, and um, a couple other things that I've totally forgotten. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. I love you awesome nerds, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>